scriptural. It's scriptural. <laughs> but that's not a valid argument. All right. So uh, we started off with, I think, nine characteristics that I wanted to cover. We covered one the first session, one more in the second session. So I've only got nine to cover this section, this session, because I added two more. Okay, so we've got 11 here. So let me give you number one quickly. David was humble enough to do anything he was asked to do. David was humble enough to do anything he was asked to do. Even after being anointed king, killing Goliath, becoming the hero of Israel, when he was asked just to come into this really demonized king now, who was oppressed with a distressing spirit, and play the harp for him, he would do it. And even after Saul tried to kill him, David still showed back up to help the king and to do what he was asked to do. How many people do you know that have that kind of character? Most people, I ain't, I don't be, I ain't gonna do that because, well, hey, we got laws in our country, okay? But that's the king, by the way. And that's where, that's where he was assigned. Number two, David remained loyal to his leaders. As Saul and his armies chased David to kill him, David had multiple opportunities to kill Saul, but he refused to touch the Lord's anointing. So even though he had an opportunity to speak against him, let me, let me bring it down to our, our level, to rally people against him, could have sent some emails, could have had this person told this person over here and gotten some support against that leader, he would not do it. He would not do it. He would not do it. God wants us to genuinely love and submit to our bosses and overseers. I know that's not the way of the world, but we're not the world. We're the church. I said, I know that's not the way of the world, but we're not the world. We're the church. I remember working at Stater Brothers, and one day the employees would get in the back room, just talk bad about the boss and such, and I always avoided it. Not because I didn't have anything to say. I, you know, you want to say, oh, yeah, you think that's bad? Listen to this. But see, in my heart, I knew that's, that's wrong. That's wrong. And by the way, Jesus was like this. Jesus modeled this. It says in John 7, 18. He said, he who speaks from himself seeks his own glory. But he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is true. And no, there's no unrighteousness in it. And so he's saying, you can tell a person and whose glory they're after by what comes out of their mouth. Jesus said, if they're talking about their own glory, if they're talking about how good they are, then you can tell that, the, that their life is about themselves. He said, but if they're seeking the glory of the one who sent them, who, we could say it this way, the one who hired them, the one who's paying them to do something. If they're seeking the glory of that one, if they're seeking the good of the company, if they're seeking the vision of the boss, he said, now you can tell this is a humble person. See, Jesus is talking about character. And in our world, there are very few people that have this kind of character. 